This is a simple tutorial to show you how to search and display Sentinel-2 satellite image in Google Earth Engine. So Google Earth Engine brings together petabytes of satellite and geospatial data with some tools that allows you to do geospatial analysis. You can search for the Sentinel data and see a few properties including the bands. And so first you locate the area of interest where you want to display the image with a simple drawing of a, a rectangle or even a point. Next is to specify the bands that will be useful for whatever task you are going to do. So for land cover applications usually we use bands that cover the visible and infrared range of the uh, electromagnetic spectrum. So next is to filter the image to the boundaries of the area of interest that you want to display. to sort for the least cloud image so um, the cloud coverage uh, assessment property ranks um, the, the, the most cloudy to the least cloudy image and the very last argument uh, brings out the, the least cloudy image uh, for display as you know the tropics are plagued by uh, very uh, thick clouds all year long and so you can go ahead do the filtering set your image and print to see what image retains so in this case you can see uh, it's an image from January 27th 2020 and so then the very last step is to display the image and see if we can identify a few landmarks or land cover features that are familiar to you this time I'm using the Kumasi area around Kumasi and Lake Bosun Tree and places that cover uh, areas that I'm familiar with. And so you display the image first it comes up black but then you can set the band combinations and a simple stretch to get a nice display so this is the short wave infrared force color display. And you can see Lake Bosumchi, which is the largest natural lake in Ghana and in parts of Africa. This is uh, the Owabi Dam, a major source of water for agriculture and other um, subsistence use. So if you go a bit to the right you will see the Bobri Forest Reserve which is a very beautiful forest reserve and the butterfly sanctuary as well and uh, very nice place to visit. Lastly you can see the whole extent of the built-up areas within the core of the city and its surroundings.